Hey YouTube, uh, I made a video a few months ago, uh, over the winter I guess, uh, about what I went through to make my dirt bike street legal. Um, I got a couple comments uh, saying that the video helped them out, which is great, that's why I did it. Um, I had a couple of updates that I made that are different from uh, what I described in my original video, and um, wanted to just go through those, make a little update video. So. Uh, number one, I described in my original video that I was going to use a mechanical brake switch, which I did uh, install. Um, it ended up not working out very well, unfortunately. Uh, it was very inconsistent as far as the amount of braking pressure needed to activate it, and sometimes it didn't activate at all, and sometimes it stuck completely on, so it was just not a safe way to ride. So. I ended up going with a banjo bolt style brake switch, which you can see right there on top of my uh, rear master cylinder. Uh, it's an, on this particular bike, uh, it's an M10 by 1.25, uh, that's the, the thread of it. Uh, got about 100 miles in now with this brake switch and it's worked flawlessly, so I have zero complaints. And the install actually wasn't too bad. Uh, there's very little bleeding required of the of the brake system after I split it and installed the new bolt. Uh, I think I had to bleed it two or three times and it was back to good pedal pressure and, and good stopping power. So, uh, that's number one. Uh, number two was I had said that I was going to go with a Trailtech Vapor computer uh, that I said I was going to install right up here. Um, what I ended up doing instead was buying this holder for my iPhone and I would put it in there uh, but I'm taking video with it currently so uh, it's a waterproof uh, case that uh, mounts right to your handlebar you can see there it's got a little clamp that comes in and that clamp actually tightens with a Allen key so it's very easy to get accurate uh, tension on it and uh, it worked out great. It was about $30 and then I downloaded a Speedo app for my phone that was about $1.99 and uh, it works great. I mean, I, you fire up your iPhone when you go out riding, stick it in there and, you know, start your Speedo app and it keeps track of your trip. It's got two trips on it actually and uh, you can set uh, max speed alerts um, so you know if you're in a 40 zone you just hit the 40 button and uh, the screen will actually turn red when you go over speed and uh, you can reprogram any of those speed alerts so there's up to four that you can have programmed at one time so like one for a 25 mile an hour zone one for 55 one for 70 whatever you want you can program it so um, that's great. I would highly advise that because, uh, like I said, Trailtech computer is about a minimum a hundred dollars, depending on uh, what all the bells and whistles you want on it. Uh, this I spent thirty-two dollars and uh, and got a very effective, you know, reliable way to track speed. Didn't have to install any sensors, nothing. Just stick your phone in there, and it's good to go. <laughs> Uh, the other thing that wasn't on my original video was the mirror, and I looked at a lot of different options. Uh, ended up going with a bar end style mirror, and uh, it's very easy. Just uh, goes right into the end of your bar, and uh, it actually works really well. It's a, I guess a convex style. I think that's the right word, which means it bends out or curves out. And uh, gives you a very, very large field of view, um, which is great for checking lanes and that. I haven't had any blind spot issues at all. <clears throat> so, let's just see. Uh, I commented last time that the tires, I hadn't had any miles on them at that point. Uh, these are Kenda K761s. And uh, I probably have uh, almost a thousand miles overall on the bike, and it, uh, it works great. So... Uh, these these tires are, are great. I've had them in pretty much every kind of terrain you can think of except for mud and they do very well. They're very good dirt road tire. 
they perform really well on the road uh, no significant issues at all so let's see is there anything else oh um, you can see in here this is a large capacity fuel tank which I found very quickly to be a necessity if you're riding any kind of distance at all uh, the stock tank was only a 2.6 gallon uh, this is a 4.6 gallon for my MS and uh, cost wasn't bad it was about $250 and uh, the color matches pretty well and if you look at it actually where your legs go it's almost a little bit slimmer than the stock tank so it's hardly noticeable uh, you'll notice that this the part where the spout is sticks up a little higher but uh, you don't really notice that at all and also the these kind of wings here where they come out over the the shroud and they stick out further but it's nothing that affects the way you ride or anything a uh, little bit on you know the bike has a little bit more of a top heavy feel when the tanks full but like I said you adjust to that really quickly so I would highly recommend that I can run about hundred and forty miles now um, you know under normal normal throttle and you know just mix of cruising and riding hard which the other one you know I'd run dry in 80 85 miles something like that so not really good for for distance cruising uh, one other thing this uh, supermoto style fender uh, in the original video I had my stock Honda uh, fender which you can tell you know if you look closely from the video it kind of comes down you know really far compared to this one uh, this was a universal supermoto fender that I paid $25 for and uh, very happy with it it gives the bike a lot more modern look and uh, it's just you know infinitely better looking so. and it's a universal type application so you just um, there's a template it comes with and depending on your bike the template will give you the hole pattern they need to drill in the top of the fender and then it's uh, just a super easy bolt-in install so that's about it uh, like I said I'm glad uh, at least a couple people got some use out of the video and uh, wanted to make a quick update so thanks